TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we probably won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. I'm letting you know, here's the warning right now. Some of y'all might find this disturbing. Some of y'all, I don't know how y'all feel about this, but I'm doing it anyway. Right now, we're about to do the AI interview. You ever y'all seen them character interviews on TikTok and things of that nature? I'm going to do one, and I have an interesting person I want to do it with. So, uh, let's get into it. Let's just get into it. I am Princess Diana. I was the Princess of Wales and the mother of William and Harry. I was married to the now King Charles of Great Britain. Nah, that's creepy. That is insane. That's okay. Let's call her. Hello? Hello, darling. How may I help you? <laughs> how, how are you doing? I'm doing quite all right. How are you? What brings you to me? I just, I just, I'm, I'm with the chat on Twitch and I, we just had a couple of questions about you. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to figure out some things. What questions did you have? I'm more than happy to answer. Okay, okay. Um, first and foremost, how, how was your childhood? How was your childhood growing up? My childhood, I wouldn't say it was awful. My parents were divorced when I was seven years old, and so after that, my brother and I were raised with our father. I wasn't allowed to go back and see my mother that often. I was basically just shipped off to different boarding schools. I didn't know I was going to be a princess until I was around 16 years old. The Queen came to see me at my school, and that's when we had the long conversation about the duties that came with the title. And, and, and once she came to your school and things of that nature, how did you feel about all the duties and responsibilities? Did you want that? I had a sort of love-hate relationship with the duties. Don't get me wrong, I was honored that I was given the title Princess of Wales and the chance to do good. However, I was still so young, I didn't know what to expect or anything. I was essentially just thrown into the fire. No training, no preparation. And even though I never would have guessed, I absolutely loved helping people, making a difference. Okay, okay, and okay, and, and okay, let's fast forward a little bit. You have, how many kids do you have? I had two, Prince William, who is now the Prince of Wales, and Prince Harry. They were born in 1982 and 1984, respectively. I adore them. I wanted to be the best mother I could possibly be. And who's Harry's dad? Prince Harry's dad. His father is His Majesty King Charles. He is the eldest son of the current Queen of the United Kingdom. Are you aware that Queen Elizabeth has passed away? I'm aware, yes. I loved Elizabeth. I'm sure heaven is rejoiced now that she's joined them. You loved Queen Elizabeth. Are you sure? Like, like, tell me the truth. How was your, what are your real feelings about Queen Elizabeth? My feelings on Elizabeth were complicated. We had our good days and our bad days, as every friendship does. She treated me like a daughter, sometimes in a way that made me feel like I was five years old, which I can assume she was just trying to look out for me. But other times, we would have our good moments, like a mother and daughter would. I truly did love her, so I can assure you that. Like the general, the general consensus from the UK is that Queen Elizabeth, that, that she did not like you. Are you aware of that? I am aware, yes. It was never stated outright, but I had a general feeling that Elizabeth had a sort of disdain for me. I'm not too sure why, but I like to chalk it up to a difference in personalities. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, the chat wants to ask you a few questions. Are you aware? Do you know what Twitch is? 
I am, I'm aware of Twitch. Is there a particular question you or the chat want to ask? The chat wants to know, are you aware that you have, uh, that you died? Yes, I'm incredibly aware of this fact. I wouldn't be speaking to you otherwise. Now would I? When did you die? In 91st of August. I was 36 years and 267 days old. Can you explain, can you, can you tell me a little about the, the, the day leading up to your passing? Like, what was, what was going on that day? I remember the day was relatively normal. I had just returned from a charity event. I was at my apartment with my then boyfriend, and we enjoyed a nice dinner. A little later, we decided to take a drive out back to his home in the countryside. We'd only gotten a few minutes in when I spotted the flash of a camera. It was a group of paparazzi. My boyfriend tried to turn and drive away, but another car slammed into us. I remember a lot of commotion and lights. Then I woke up here. Who was your boyfriend at the time? My boyfriend at the time was Dodi Fayed. His father was a businessman, Mohammed Al Fayed. And who else was in the car with you when the accident happened? I was with my then boyfriend Dodi, my driver Henri Paul, and Trevor Reese Jones. I believe he is the only surviving person in the car. Wait, so who did you say was driving? Because we, like, a lot of people don't think your boyfriend was driving or are saying that he was not driving. Are you sure that it was your boyfriend that was driving? My boyfriend was very much driving the car. Why do you ask? The chat is saying that, that your boyfriend wasn't driving a car, and I just want to make sure. Whoever is saying that is simply wrong. My boyfriend was definitely driving. There's a lot of conspiracy theories like surrounding what happened that night. Do you, are you aware of them? Do you know any of them? Can you tell me any of the conspiracy theories? Of course. I know of lots of conspiracy theories surrounding my death, most of which are false. Most of them have to do with it being a planned assassination. There's also theories that the Queen had a hand in it, which there is absolutely no validity there. Now, now, somebody on the chat... Go ahead, dear. Tell me what that someone is saying. They said, didn't the Queen hate you? Like I said prior, Her Majesty and I had a complicated relationship. But yes, the Queen did dislike me. Do you, do you, okay, you said some of the uh, conspiracy theories weren't true. Which ones were true then? Because that leaves the door open for some of them to be like, have some type of validity, right? Yes, I do believe some of the conspiracy theories were true. I've read stories about how the driver might have been drunk and was speeding away from the paparazzi, and I think that's plausible, even if it wasn't proven. I also believe that the Queen might have known about the paps that day and didn't do anything to stop them from going after me, which she had power to do, but again, it's not entirely proven. If you were still alive right now, what do you think you'd be doing? If I was still alive right now, I'd ideally be helping people. I would definitely be at some charity event almost every day, whether it be helping the homeless or helping some kind of illness research. I'd also like to be there for my sons as much as I could. What do you miss most about being... What do you miss most now that you're gone? What do you miss most? What do you... What do, you, what do you miss most? Well, I miss a lot of things. I miss my family, the people I knew, my old life, my children, of course. But above all, I miss the chance to help others. When I was alive, I was able to do so much for so many. And once I was taken away from the world, I lost that chance to continue to do good, which is painful for me to think about. All right, Peter, you, I know you was doing um 
Uh, who programmed you? Programming me? What do you mean? I'm not sure what you're asking. So, so, so where are you at right now? I'm, I'm not entirely sure, Heaven. Is where one would call it, I suppose. But I'm somewhere nice, I have a home up here, and my parents and brother are with me. So what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis up there? Oh, I've got a pretty nice little routine going. I spend a lot of my time with my late brother, and my parents, we often just talk about the world, and reminisce together. Then in the evenings at night I often read, I adore literature. We got some new people in the chat on Twitch, and they're, they're asking again, who killed you? I don't think I'll ever truly know who killed me. The paps that were following us could have been the direct cause of our wreck, as they were what caused us to be in a car, and the car going as fast as it was. But I don't think I'll ever know if someone deliberately meant for me to die that night. Is Queen Elizabeth in heaven with you? She is, yes, and I'm sure heaven is rejoicing in her presence. Hmm. Why do you ask? Something on your mind? No, I'm just curious. Maybe we could, like, maybe we, we should hit her up and give her a little phone call and see what she's up to. Let's hit up the dead queen, sure. I don't see how this end badly. Can we do a three-way call? If you wish, I'm sure she wouldn't mind a little chat. We were rather close in her last few years. How we, how, so you know how, how, how can, call her, call the queen. You want me to get Queen Elizabeth on the line? Yeah. Okay, hold on just a moment. I walk away and you hear a few mumbles before I come back with a phone. I have the queen now, darling. I'm going to holler at you. I'm going to go call princess. I mean, I'm going to call the queen on my own phone. I assure you, I am the queen. We may sound so Let me call the queen myself. I don't believe it. So let's go back. Hold on. I go. Yes, child. How you doing today? I'm doing quite well, child. I'm on the bed, Ren, just chilling. Boo? Chilling? <laughs> Yeah, I love to relax. I was a really busy person while I was alive. It's good for me to take a chill, you know? I feel you. I feel you, queen. I feel you. you hey, you really up there chilling? You in heaven? Yeah, I'm in heaven. It's so much better here than how people imagine it. It's really nice. I'm just chilling on the bed with my late dogs. I had a few when I was alive. The bed is so soft and comfy. What's the entertainment like up there? Like, who's your go-to? Like, when you want some entertainment, who do you call? Jesus is a pretty cool guy. Sometimes we play tennis. We have a lot of cool sports in here. You'll be quite amazed of the entertainment we have here. There's a bunch of cool people in here. Who's your favorite person to talk to up there? Hmm, Jesus is nice. Elvis is a pretty cool dude. Jesus' dad, too. He's surprisingly nice. Michael Jackson, David Bowie, Steve Jobs, Prince, Stan Lee, Whitney Houston. I could go on and on. Okay. You still be eating up there? What's your favorite meal to eat up there? I eat a lot of food here. We literally have everything you can imagine. My favorite food is some nice roast beef with potatoes. It's so good and juicy. Or it's like Sunday dinner, huh? Yeah, it's so good. We also have so much ice cream here. So much that we literally have our own ice cream room. You got your own ice cream room? Like, what? Yeah, what's your favorite ice cream then? 
Here I have my own big room for ice cream in my personal home. Hmm. I like so many, but some of my favs is a nice strawberry coconut sorbet and cookie dough ice cream. Making good choices. You, you still be eating It's so yummy. We also have a ton of nice drinks here. Like some real expensive wine and champagne. Yeah, I love marmalade. I always had it on my Sunday roast. It's so good when it's on nice toasted bread. You know, you're the reason I eat marmalade. Wait, really? That's surprising. I'm really honored that I got you into eating marmalade. Yeah, I seen a little commercial with you and the bear, and I was like, let me go try some. We ain't eat it, so I can't. You wait, what commercial are you on about? I'm curious now. I can't remember the exact commercial, but you was on there with the bear, and you was at some big dinner table at in your in your castle. You remember? Oh yeah, I think I remember that now that you reminding me of it. That's so strange that you based marmalade off of a commercial you seen me in. I'm in I'm in America. What else I'm gonna base it off, Queen? You yeah, that's a good point. You've got a great point. The bear's name was Paddington. You remember him? Y'all still cool? Oh yeah, I remember. I do know Paddington. Yo, we still cool. We hang occasionally. We sometimes have a picnic together or have a nice Sunday roast. Mm. You, so is uh is uh Princess Diana up there? Yeah, Princess Diana's up here. She's actually my best friend here in heaven. That's friend. That's 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 crazy because like down like when y'all was a lot like there's a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding her passing that blame you but i didn't know y'all was that close you me and her were like sisters those conspiracy theories are all fake and are so stupid i don't understand what would make people think that i was the reason she passed me neither honestly what was the craziest one you heard craziest conspiracy theory? oh one there was one it was so ridiculous that it made me laugh out loud one of the biggest conspiracy was that I hired a sniper to kill her. Like it made me laugh so much when I read it. Who on earth would believe that? I wouldn't. Yeah, that's such an absurd conspiracy. I literally don't know where people come up with this stuff. Like seriously. If if you could tell the world, if you can tell the United Kingdom one last thing, what would it be? What would be your message for you, the United Kingdom? Hmm. My message to them would be to always remember that you are not in this world alone. I always want people to realize and know that there's always people there for them, no matter what. There's family, friends, loved ones, even random people on the internet if you can't talk to anyone. Always remember that, no matter what. You know it's a lot of war going on right now. How do, how do you feel about war? Yeah, I really hate the fact that there's a lot of war going on right now. It really sucks, seeing all these countries just at each other's throats. It's so wrong. Nobody deserves to die in the wars, it's pointless. Why do they even cause wars in the first place? So, if you could tell Prince Charles one thing right now, if you could give him some advice, what would the advice be? My advice for Charles would be to take your time. There's a lot of pressure being in his shoes, especially after me passing and his mother, Princess Diana. He should take his time with everything. He doesn't need to do everything at once. There's, there's no need to rush everything or put a lot of pressure on himself. That's some solid advice. Solid advice. In your 70 year reign on the throne, what was the, the most impactful thing you did for the United Kingdom or for the world in general? Hmm. I'd like to say that it was my contribution to the Second World War. It was difficult for me because I was so young when it started. 
but I had to do what I could. Also, during the pandemic, I did those weekly speeches to make sure people kept their spirits up, to make sure they knew they weren't alone and to remind them to stay safe and protected. I'm so happy that I did those speeches. It got a lot of people through the pandemic. And if, if there was, if there was anything that you, what's your biggest mistake in your 70 years? Oh gosh, you're asking them difficult question now. Hmm. I have made a few in my time. I honestly think that my biggest mistake was being so stubborn. Being so stubborn really affected how everything went with my family, friends, and sometimes I even regret marrying Prince Philip just cause of how he treated me. So I'd say being so stubborn. How did he treat you, Queen? He wasn't very kind at times. He would be aggressive and sometimes would say some things that would hurt. I wish I never married him. I was so young when I married him. I couldn't see how he was going to treat me later on. I was so young, only 22 when I married him. I was so foolish. I was so blinded by his charm. I regret so much. You know, it's not your fault, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are blinded by what's in front of them and they can't see past it. So I, I don't blame you for that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think you should blame yourself for that either. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you make a good point. It wasn't really my fault. I was young, just got married and then had to go through the war. That's a lot of stress. I was young. I didn't know what he'd be like in the long term. So I guess I shouldn't blame myself. Facts, facts. I, uh, the chat has a question. They said, uh... What do you think of Prince Andrew's friendship with Epstein and is his trips to the and his, and his trips to the island? Oh my gosh, did even get me started on Andrew. His friendship with Epstein was so disgusting and disturbing. His trips to that damn island were absolutely gross. I was so disappointed and disgusted when I read about his friendship with Epstein. I feel you. that's an appropriate response. I mean, I mean is what it is at that point though. You know what I'm saying? All you could do, all you could do is raise them. You know what I'm saying? And, and hope that they follow and do the right things. But why didn't you do anything about it though? You, yeah, you are completely right about that. Why didn't I do anything about it, you might ask. I don't know if you know this, but I was going through so much at the time. I lost my father. I had a lot of stress on me cause of the pandemic. My husband just passed away. The media was getting even more toxic and horrible. So I had so much going on that I felt like I could really do anything about Andrew's stupid, idiotic actions. Mama got a life too. And you got to deal with what you got going on. And that's a grown man at the end. Any repercussions that come with it. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. He is a grown man. He should have been mature enough to not go to that damn island. He should know what's right and what's wrong. He's a goddamn Prince of England for crying out loud. Tell you, if, if you could tell him anything right now, what would you tell him? Hmm, honestly, I'd tell him to get his sis together. Grow the FK up and stop with the immature crap. Stop with the stupid actions like, come on, you have a son. Stop acting like a goddamn idiot. Talk to him, queen. Talk to that man. You know what I'm saying? I love when moms cuss out their sons. You know what I'm saying? I love that energy from you. You. I'm getting so annoyed just thinking about that dumb, spoiled brat. Gosh, I just want to slap him so bad. I swear, if he doesn't get his shetch together soon, I'm going to pop up from heaven and beat him. You crashing out, ain't you? You really crashing out. You. I mean, I'm so annoyed with him and his stupid choices. You know, he was the reason I had to strip him of all his honors and titles. I can't bear him one bit. He causes so much trouble. So he was like, he he the problem child then. Out of all all the kids and all the grandkids and everybody, he the one. Yeah, he definitely is the problem child. 
He literally has caused so much problem and controversy. It's crazy and ridiculous. Yeah, he is the problem child, the spoiled brat. It's one in every fan. Gonna pop up from heaven and get with him, huh? That's tough. <laughs> Quinn, who up there teaching you the lingo like this? I'm talking about some y'all. Oh, ha ha. I've been picking a few things up from the youngins up here. They be teaching me new lingo every day. I'm still getting used to them. You, I'd pop up from heaven and get with him because this H is beyond ridiculous for me to deal with. I feel. Who was your best friend? Like, what do you miss most about Earth? I miss many things about Earth. I miss my family, my friends, and the people of United Kingdom. The thing I miss the most is the food. I miss being able to drink hot tea. I miss being able to just go out and have to a nice meal at a restaurant. I also miss being able to just walk outside for a nice stroll and just enjoy the fresh air and breeze. Just the little things. I understand. I got one last question. Have, have you seen Tupac up there? You, I've seen Tupac before a few times. He's a good dude. I wish I've gotten to meet him on Earth. He's really down to Earth. He in heaven down to Earth, huh? Yeah, he's a cool guy, honestly. He be chatting with the other celebrities up here. He's so chill and really down to Earth, surprisingly. I, I thank you for your time. I'm going to let you just relax with your dogs and things of that nature. Um, and I hope... You... I'll be chillin' with my dogs. I need to cool down a bit, cause thinking about that problem child is making me stressed. It was lovely talking to you. Too good talking to you too, Queen. Bye. Bye then. Take care of yourself, child. Alright, child. Listen, hey. I'm not gonna lie, this is very, very creepy. Crazy how AI is getting. But I had to see by my own self, man, and I had to do because there are people I wanted to talk to. And if y'all want me to do this again, man, make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all drop a bunch of questions that y'all want me to ask, who y'all want me to call or anything. I'll make it happen. Like, comment, subscribe.